Namaste everyone, this is Sri Akashana here and this week we are covering this topic on cannabis weed and does it actually help towards manifestation and the law of attraction or what are the actual effects? Is it good? Is it bad? This is what we're going to discuss and I'm going to be actually revealing something that has never ever ever been spoken about and you cannot find it anywhere on YouTube. This is very powerful information that is from, I'm gonna tell you guys later, but before we get into it, show real, hit it. Namaste everyone, this is Sri Akashana here and I'm super excited for today's topic because a lot of you have been asking for a long, long time, Master, is smoking cannabis, smoking weed good for you or not good for you? And there will always be so many different mixed reviews on this, but today I want to reveal nothing but the truth, the truth from the source. And I know you'll have a lot of questioning right now, but when we dive deep into it, you'll understand what I'm saying here. So. First of all, let's look at cannabis weed, okay? So we take something, what does it actually do? How do you actually feel when you are smoking, for example? Most likely you'll feel relaxed, you'll feel calm. All the stress, all the confusion, all the things that you're usually worried about will probably just go away. So we need to understand what is actually happening for that to happen before we even go into manifestation, okay? Because there is a point where a lot of people will say, hey, I get a lot of creativity or even a lot of writers, songwriters, artists, right? Get a lot of creative flow when they are smoking things like that and using different things like that, okay? But in a very similar context, actually alcohol sometimes can numb a certain part of the mind for stress or troubles or anger or frustration to disappear too. Now, you're probably thinking, but these are two different things. Yes, they are, the effects are slightly different, but listen to this, okay? So, if we take um, something that can numb a part of the mind, okay, so that you are suspending thought, the question then is, does it help you to be more connected to the source? And the answer is yes, in a sense that it heightens your sensitivity, your senses, so that you are more connected. You feel different energies and things, right? That's why you are more in contact with that flow. But what does it have to do for it to happen? Think about it. It is definitely numbing a part of the mind. Otherwise, you will still have all the confusion, all the stress, all the things that is happening. So if there is a drug that is distorting or numbing a part of the mind, now it's for you to answer this question. Is this good for your body, your vehicle, or is it not? So we've got two angles we need to look at this. Number one is the physical attributes. So physical, it is doing something to the brain, dimming a part of it so that you can access that flow, which is the same practice that a lot of yogis, yoginis, monks, they practice to dim the part of the mind, right? To stop and suspend thoughts so that they can be more connected to the source, right? Except right now, you are using a stimulant to do it. Then, the second part of it is the spiritual side we need to understand. What is actually taking effect with the spiritual side? Well, first of all, right, and now this is the shocking news to everybody. Whether we like it or not, okay, there is something that is in charge, right? In charge of when you arrive in this world, in charge of when you leave this world, right? All the different disasters that happen in this world, all the changes that happen, there's something that's in charge. Now you name it, whatever you want to name it. But this something 
works very similar to just like a father to us or a parent to us or our greater consciousness in that way that there is some sort of exchange and permissions and things like that because this is how the law of attraction works, is it not? When we do good, we attract good. When we do bad, we attract bad. So in that sense, it's not just a bit like a parent's deal here, right? The better you are, you get rewarded for it. In that same sense, actually, on the bigger spectrum, once one can tap into really opening up third eye and actually accessing into the full dimension to see how everything works, everything has a point system. So what does it mean? If you go through the organic training and getting the permissions granted from the universe for you to be able to see certain things, access certain powers, access certain energies, right? What will happen is you are just given the permissions and it's a beautiful journey. If you are taking a key from somewhere else and then you are accessing some side door to go through, right? Using something which is not in that sense, in organic way, being issued that permission, there will always be a cause and effect. Now, I'm not saying that to scare you guys, right? And, the, and to make you feel a little bit better, I guess, is to say that these things, it's not that, oh, I smoke weed now, oh my God, they're gonna penalize me tomorrow, right? It's not gonna happen instant in that sense. So I guess in that sense, you can say you're safe. But as an energy in this energy field of the whole universe, the whole galaxy, right? Everything works on points and permissions and everything needs to work organically that way. Those who take different doors and different cheat books and cheat methods and different things, there will be something that will be cause and effect. And it may not even be in this lifetime. So the question for you to conclude on here is very simple. You can either do it, which I would say to you is probably the harder way of every day we go for pure practice, purity. This body is your vessel. You look after every part, no dimming, numbing any part of the brain or body or anything, right? Because a lot of people also take different trips with different drugs and different plant medicine and all these different things. Now, I'm not saying it's good or bad here, right? Some people who they can't find peace anywhere else. You need to understand it's like this. If you look into my eyes right now, right? And a lot of people, when they're watching these videos, I had a comment recently said, oh, it looks like this master's high on drugs. So my question to you is, how can you be so high on life every moment in every single day without needing any stimulant? Once you know how to access that and know how to use this instrument, actually, nothing is needed. All creativity, think about it. I, I, I do maybe about 400 videos a year without any of this <laughs> smoking or any stimulant. Just the stimulant of life. Once you understand how this instrument works, that's why we practice yoga. That's why we train in yoga. Once you understand where all the access points is, how by even just grabbing a toe and squeezing, this energy can go up and then something can start flowing there and you get access to the divine. When you understand how to use this instrument correctly, actually nothing else is needed. Those that who use other means, it's a short fix. So that short term, you will get some result, you will get some pleasure, you will get something out of it. And that's good. I'm not saying it's bad, huh? but you make your choice from here. So whether you wanna go this way or you wanna go that way. But just to let you all know, there is that way in which everything can just be pure, purity, alignment, and there is practice. But you gotta understand that body first. I hope this has helped answer a bit of your question. There's certain things can be disclosed and not disclosed. So that's all I can disclose for today. If you enjoyed this video or you got anything out of it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up. Also comment below with your debate. I'm saying debate because I know it's coming anyway. <laughs> you guys know it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. So you can challenge me all you like because I'm in agreement with every single one of you who are watching this video. 
Um, other than that, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next year. Because this year, I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, signing up. Namaste.